So now on to the second half. So on this part, I'm going to be doing the blues and yellows. So I've got a little bit, um, I did, this is the second time that I used a um, piece of coordinating cardstock. So it's kind of like a goldy yellow. And then I'm using all the blue hue, the deep blues. Um, all right, so I'm going to figure out what my plan was exactly and put it all together and um, then I'll come back and, and do bits and pieces with you. Okie dokie, welcome back. Um, let me show you what I've got so far. All right, so on this side, um, I've put a couple of the sheets of paper on already. Uh, so I meant to show you this, but I got carried away and put the paper on. Um, so what I've done here is I've cut two holes before I put the back side paper on. I punched two holes on the front. Um, and then from the back side, I threaded some ribbon. And so it's coming out here and then put, then put my pattern paper on the back. Cause I just wanted, um, it's not really functional, it's m more just aesthetic because I want to put ribbon on that side so I just wanted it to kind of match over here so I'm just um, tying a small bow over here. It can be used to um, uh, open this page, you know, so, so you know that something happens with this page but it doesn't do anything other than that. So I'm just going to trim the ends here. Okay, so just a cute little bow. You, that's completely optional. It doesn't have to, it's, there's no real function to it besides looks. <laughs> All right, so um, open that up and open this down. This is what I have on the inside. It's the only one that I haven't put, haven't put down yet. So again, if you'd like to follow exactly what I do, um, feel free to kind of pause the video and then you can like um, check out exactly what part of the paper it is that I'm using, etc., etc. Um, over on this side, so here I've got this little feather. So I took this um, set of stamps called um, Woodware Craft collection. It doesn't, does it even have a name? No, it doesn't even actually have a name. It's just a feather, some feathers. All right, so I took those and put them in my misty and used, uh, this is what's left of it, used uh, part of one of the alcohol ink backgrounds that I created earlier in another video and stamped on some images with some Versamark ink. Okay, here's the other two feathers. And then I took some um, Perfect Pearls pigment powder and just uh, took a paintbrush, and, like a dry paintbrush, and brushed on the Perfect Pearls onto these stamped feathers with the Versamark ink. And then just brushed off the excess and then kind of cut. There's no um, uh, die cut set for these, so I just kind of cut them out by hand to kind of the shape that I wanted them to and um, yeah that's how I got that. So I'm going to use these two um, on this part of the page. So but let's finish this side first. So over here I'm going to have this and then I'm going to have this sheet right here. Okay and I might embellish this further, I haven't decided, but let's put those two on. And this is another one of the alcohol ink backgrounds that I made. I love, gosh, I love alcohol inks. They're just, they're, they're kind of hypnotic to me, I find. Like working with them is one of the funnest things because you just, you get entranced by watching them move. They're just, 
<laughs> They're just one of my favorite things to play with. Like, it, you, I can't be in a bad mood if I'm playing with alcohol inks. Like, no matter, like, it, it almost... They're almost foolproof. It doesn't really matter what you do. It almost always turns out beautiful. They're amazing that way. Okay, over here on this side. So there are a few little pieces of a coordinating um, piece of uh, kind of like a gold mustard uh, cardstock. All right, um, when you open it up like this. Actually, I haven't put these on yet, so let's do that while we're at it. So these two sides uh, mirror each other. So we've got the um, yellow on this part of the flap. On the inside of the flap is that alcohol ink um, paper with the overlay of that uh, pattern. And then um, on the inside, there is like a the, the much more open and light feather pattern with the same geometric um, overlay. All right, so that continues along both of them. I left this one open for pictures. And then so we're just gonna do the same thing over here. We're just gonna add these two pieces here. I decided I wanted um, to have a ribbon closure right here. That's what inspired the ribbon over here. So I've got um, another piece of ribbon with some score tape at the end of it. It's just a sheer, sheer blue ribbon from the dollar store. Nothing fancy. Uh, all right, I'm going to close this though, just because I want to get this as straight and even as possible. Okay, so now I've got some ribbon on either side, the back side. So now I can put the paper on these two parts. I've already got the adhesive on this side. And put it on this side as well. Okay, and then these two pieces in the center. I tried to make this collection so that it was really versatile, like you can kind of use a lot of the different papers with each other. Like I use quite a few of the papers over and over again um, in different combinations and ways. I really wanted it to be as versatile as possible. And I love paper piecing, so I tried to create them in such a way that there was bits and pieces that you could cut apart to create new ways of putting things together. Okay, and then tie this up. And then I'm going to add these two feathers onto the front as well. Um, with the Perfect Pearls, just a little tip. If you don't want your powder to smear as things are being um, touched and moved around and everything, just uh, mist a little bit of water over it and that will help to set everything, set the powder so that it doesn't uh, move around. Okay, so that is your pages two and three of um, 
the second half of your album. So now, uh, or sorry, I guess that's one and two. This is three and four of the second part of your album. And on three and four, I will be using more of the really pale, pale blues and purples. Okay, so going a little lighter. Okay, so I'm gonna get my puzzle pieces all organized and I'll be right back. Here's what I have so far. Um, so on this side, we've got that piece that rotates, right? Um, now you can close it a number of ways. So right now I've got it so that this whole part opens and then you've got the up and down. You can also do it so that the, um, the top part closes first and then you have to rotate this and then that goes above like there's so many ways to do it I think I'm gonna keep it so that these uh, the part that rotates is gonna be on top these are gonna go like that I think I'm gonna keep it like that but in order to get the this piece and this piece on we need to take out that brad so we're gonna open this up we're going to remove the brad. Okay, now we're going to put uh, this piece on, which was, I had it as this one here. Okay, so I'm going to put that on. punch the hole in this piece. So from the back side, we're gonna re-punch that hole. Okay, and then we'll put our piece on the part that swings. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on there. Okay, so we've got the magnet on the back side here so that we know exactly where it has to go. We're gonna put this on and then we're gonna repunch the hole in this part of it. Okay, so we've got the hole from the back. Repunch. Now, as this rotates, you're not going to actually see what's on the back. You can put pattern paper on the back here. Um, I am just going to put a little piece of Tyvek over top of that magnet. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of Tyvek and put some tape on the back side of it just so the magnet doesn't get caught on anything as it's turning. Okay, and now we can put our brad back through these two pieces. Okay, and then open up the tines. And I don't know where, oh, here it is. Here's my piece. Like, where's my piece that I was gonna put there? Okay, so now we can attach a piece to the inside to cover those tines. Okay, and then I've got a piece of the alcohol ink paper that I uh, created that I'm gonna put in the center there. This one's kind of cool, like, like, I was so messy with it that it went all the way to the other side, and I think actually both sides look kind of cool, even the, even the, the, the back side looks kind of cool. Okay, so that's gonna go, oh, I got it the wrong way. Okay, so that's gonna go there. 
And then I'm going to close these up, close that down, and then what? Um, I do want something up here just to signify that this turns. So I've got the, these really pretty feathers um, from uh, Forever in Time. I think I'm going to use one of these. I'm just going to put that just right on the edge here, just so it kind of signifies that it does something. Okay, and uh, now we can open this up to open these up, which allows us to... Oh, and then we also have to open this part up. Um, I've got a... Let me pull it down here. I've got a little tiny ribbon pull there, and that enables this whole thing to open to the side. And I've got just a simple damask blue there and then just some border strips here um I'm, I'm contemplating i might end up putting this card there and do a couple more little border strips there i haven't completely decided that yet so i'm going to leave it for now okay and close these back up was it this way or was it this way i don't think it matters okay and then Close that up, so that's that half. And then over here, I'm also gonna, I cut this, but I've got that one little tiny feather right there, so I think I might, actually, let's do that now. I'm gonna cover that with one of these feathers as well, I think. Okay, I'm indecisive and I can't decide which one, so I'm gonna leave that for now <laughs> until I make a decision later. <laughs> over on this page, um, I've got just some plain, um, part of uh, one of the papers here. I'm going to leave these blank for photos. Uh, this is more of that blue damask on the inside. I just really wanted to use this image so I decided to pull it all the way down because it was too tall so I just decided to add a little bit here. I think I'm just going to leave these open for photos as well when you open these up. So um, here, I've got more of the alcohol ink background um, paper that I did, and then this is the little pocket. Okay, um, so I wanted to show you on this side, because this side I hadn't glued down yet. So this is where we did that extra thing, we did the pocket, and I realized afterwards that um, you want the piece that slips into the pocket, you want it to be you want it to kind of tuck into the pocket a little bit and um, because of the way that I had heared it um, I had to pull it up to really slide this um, in underneath the where the pocket goes so I mean it came up really easily so uh, hopefully that didn't mess you up at all we should have put pattern paper down before we did that pocket but I had no idea at that point in time what pattern paper I was going to use and um, I mean that was just a spur of the moment decision so um, I'm just going to use a little bit of wet adhesive on the sides here and re-glue that pocket down. Okay, and then I'll put some tags in there afterwards. On the inside of this, so I've got um, this, one of my favorite images. I just love this like faint image. And this uh, background paper is actually um, the one that I just put down. Where did I put it down? On this side. I used it somewhere. Where did I use it? Oh, in the pocket, <laughs> where we just were. I'm just going to add a couple clips to this just to help it, help it uh, adhere. So this, is, this uh, alcohol ink background here is the same one that is right here. I just uh, enlarged it. All right, and now I'm going to put this blue here. 
Um, it's not quite long enough, so I'm going to do a little strip of purple, I think. So, what do I have here? Okay, so I'm going to put this on the far side here. And then add the blue. Oh, I gotta take these off for a second. Okay, there's one side. And then we'll do the same to the other side. And this is another one of those alcohol ink pieces. Okay, perfect. And I just realized I don't actually have this big piece down in the center. So let's put that down. And then we have one last thing to do on the front. Okay, so close the back up. And then I wanted to add this smack dab in the center there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adhere it to one side and then have it magnetized to the other side. So I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna mark the center, put a tiny pencil line. Okay, I'm putting a tiny pencil line, so I'm gonna put some adhesive on this piece around where that pencil line is, just so I know how far I need to have it. And okay, take the adhesive off. Or the backing off, I mean, <laughs> not the adhesive. Just put the adhesive on, we don't want it off already. <laughs> okay, and now we can put this on. Okay, so it's adhered to the one side, but we want it to be magnetized to this side. So you're probably wondering, you're like, you already have pattern paper on here. What's What, what are you planning on doing? I'll show you. Okay, so we've got two magnets magnetized together. Let's move it in just a smidge. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Because I want the other magnet to land somewhere near the edge of this one, right? Okay, so close it up. Now you've got your magnet here, your magnet here. On this side, we're just going to do something simple, like add a little flower there to cover up that magnet. So I'm just going to put some, some kind of adhesive. Uh, whichever kind you want to use, either score tape or wet adhesive. And I might give this a quick little ink around the edges. Okay, and put that down so it will cover all the way around that magnet. Make sure whatever you're putting down here is big enough to have room to go all the way around the magnet and adhere down. Okay, and then over here, I'm just gonna get another piece of uh, paper to cover over top of this. And I'd like it to kind of match this, so. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the center and then I'm gonna get a couple border strips and that way it matches a little bit nicer.
This is why I don't um, show you me actually like deciding what pieces of paper um, to use because honestly it takes me about uh, an hour, hour and a half per, like an hour per page for sure um, to figure it out. I'm so indecisive that I constantly change my mind and um, so it would take, the, the tutorial would be like 35 hours long <laughs> if you saw me do all the behind the scenes decisions and stuff like that I have to kind of I have to have a plan or it's uh, all downhill <laughs> for the pattern paper anyway I'm, I'm much better at designing things on the fly than I am uh, decorating on the fly <laughs> All right, awesome. And then, I mean, you could add another piece of cardstock there as well, or just use it for the um, uh, pictures. Okay, so there we have it. So those are uh, our, what are we on? Three and four, I think. Okay, anyway, yes, three and four. So now we're on to five and six. We've only got five, six, and then that's it. These are our last two official pages. So I'm going to finish off with teals and purples. Okay, so I'm going to figure out my puzzle. And as per usual, you'll see me in a minute. Okay, so these pages were a pretty epic puzzle. Um, I had so many paper pieces and like little bits that I had uh, originally planned and I, I honestly couldn't figure my puzzle back out. <laughs> I know I created it, but I ended up cutting some new pieces because I was completely puzzled by my puzzle. Um, so I'll show you what I have so far. Um, I've done a lot of it just because I was trying to figure it out. So um, this on the front, the teal lace on the back and in here, some of the border strips, another border strip here. Um, and then on the inside, um, I just left room for pictures here and just did some uh, border pieces to cover the um, um, that half inch section that attaches them together. And then on the inside, um, that the deer image with another border strip. So just like that. Um, the only one I haven't put on is this one. So I got carried away and realized that I put almost all of it on without you. Um, but you can just pause the video if you want to see exactly how I did it and do it, do it the same way. Okay, so that is that over here. Um, kind of carrying the same paper here and here. And then on the inside... Just some strips, some purple, and this same paper, another border strip. And it mirrors it on this side. I think I've got it all down. Yes, I do. On the insides here. Um, hmm, so far I don't have anything. Um, I'm just going to put that in the center. I need to figure out some paper for this part of it. Hmm. Okay, that's still a little bit of a conundrum. I'm not sure quite what I'm going to do there. I'll have to figure that out. On the inside, I've got this pattern paper. I just pretty much used a whole 12 by 12 sheet and cut it in half. This I'm going to keep open for photos. So the inside's done. Okay, so I just need to figure out something for these two sections. Yeah, I think I might just use this uh, sheet here. So I'm going to cut some pieces for here, put them on, and then we can do our cover. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that I changed my mind. Um, I didn't use that other paper. I decided to use this patterned paper instead. So I just did some paper piecing and then a little spot for journaling down here on this side because I already had these here. And then on the other side, I just did full pieces of it. Okay, so that was our last page. I might embellish it a little bit more. I might put some flowers, maybe a couple of these flowers. Maybe I'll just do that right now, actually. 
I'm going to put a couple of these here. Just so you know that it opens. And I might do some other further embellishing later. But for now, um, that is our album. Now the covers. Okay, so what I would suggest is to do a ribbon closure. So to have a piece of ribbon coming, like um, adhering to the front, like the very top of the album. Okay, and then cutting it, you know, about here or so. And then having another piece come from right here. Okay, so you'd have one piece coming from the front, one piece coming here, and then they would tie on this side. And then on the other side, you would have um, another piece here, and then another piece from the back, so it's so that it can tie from either side, so ribbons on either side. Okay, that would be probably the easiest way. Um, of course, I decided that I'm not going to do that, and I'm going to try something else. And because I've never made an album like this before, I have no idea if this is going to work. But I wanted to give it a shot anyway because I didn't want it to be. <clears throat> because I didn't want it to be obvious that it was an album that opened from both sides. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on the front and I'm going to put this on the back. So I'm going to do that first. My plan is to take, I've got the, this one of the pieces that I made with the alcohol inks. So this is like a, it's a transparent, okay? So it's like a very, very thin. So my plan was to have it, have a bunch of magnets here, have this wrap around to the back side and glue on the back side. And then I have another piece that is exactly the same and have it do the opposite. So have it be glued down on this side and then magnets on the other side. So I don't know if it's gonna work. My hope is that as the album opens, because this is such a thin sheet it will just kind of like bend with the album but um i don't know if it will <laughs> so i'm gonna give it a shot and um, we're gonna see how we go um but you might want to watch and see if this succeeds first before trying it out because i honestly don't know if this is going to work or not <laughs> so, but we're gonna give it a shot okay so i'm just gonna put some score tape here. The only way to find out if things work though is to try it, right? So, I'm going to adhere this onto the left side. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap it around, flip this over, and now have a bunch of magnets on this and on my album itself. So I think I'll put three sets. Oh, 
I'm sure there's other ways to do this. I think the ribbon would be the easiest, but I'm sure there's a bunch of different ways that you could do this. This is just the one that my brain caught on to. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to wrap it around. I want to make sure that I leave some slack so it has room to A, expand, and B, just kind of maneuver around. Is that enough? Is that enough slack? I think, I think that's good. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. And now I'm going to put my piece on the back to cover those magnets. And I'm going to put another strip of this just to kind of hide the magnets a little bit. So there's that, and now flip it back around. Um, oh, I guess I should adhere it to this side first. So let's kind of do a glue it to this side first. And I'll have to add some other kind of like embellishment along the edge, maybe a little do some lace or something like that just to kind of hide. You don't want to be able to see the magnets through the transparency and stuff. So um, we'll see how we go on that. This is all an experiment. <laughs> Kind of scary after you've worked so hard on an album. Like, oh, I hope I'm not messing it up. I'm trying to go even. Okay, and now I'm gonna flip it over and have magnets coming to there. I just want to make sure that the album has room to expand. So I'm going to put three sets of magnets just on this little edge and then cover that up with another piece of cardstock. Pull this around. Okay. Oh, those are kind of close to the edge. Mm. I'll have to embellish further, but I want to make sure that all my embellishments are really flat um, because I don't want, because we're flipping it over, you don't want anything that's going to be puffy. I think I'm going to use this.
Okay, I mean, I think, I think it looks kind of cool. Um, let's see <laughs> how it behaves as we open our album. So we still have to put on our, um, our bits here. So let's pull this over, put this on. So that there, and let's see as we flip through. Actually, it's okay because it's so thin and pliable and bendable, it's actually doing okay. It's like, I'll try and show you what it's doing. It's like just kind of bending like that, but that's okay. Like it's just kind of going in between. So that, that can work. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't gonna you know, cause the pages to not open properly, but it looks like we're gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna put this end piece on here. that it's picking up everything else and then we can just tuck that under to magnetize it and then open this side okay that's gonna work out all right I think so I think it's just a matter of kind of embellishing the edges here so that you can't necessarily tell that it is um, you know, magnetized, so, hmm. I've got this white lace that has adhesive already on the back of it. That might end up working perfectly just to kind of hide the magnets and give this a more finished, finished look. I think I'm gonna use that. I think that will work out fantastic because it's flat and It will cover up the seams. Yes! Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I mean, you can use whatever you have in your stash. There's so many different things that you could use to, if, if you've done it this way. You might have done the um, ribbon, or you might have found a, another unique way to shut this, sh just shut it up, because you can't shut me up, so. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm gonna put this on. Oh, did my head just get in the way? I'm sorry if it did. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this right on the edge. I don't want it to adhere to the cover itself, just over this piece here and I think I'm going to do the same on this side yeah I think this works perfect I'm happy about this Awesome. Okay, so I think that's my album pretty much done. Um, I might add a few other simple embellishments here and there. Um, put some tags in my pockets. Um, you don't have to, but you might want to put some um, pattern paper just on these tiny little gussets here. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to add tiny, tiny little strips there just to kind of finish it off and there you go there is your album oh I'm very pleased with this end result uh so yay 
Thank you so much for uh, sticking with me through this whole tutorial and um, I really hope that you love this paper collection. Uh, it is in my Etsy shop now. Um, I worked really hard on it and I, I think it looks gorgeous. I'm sure it's not perfect, but perfect is highly overrated. <laughs> And um, I'm proud of it, so that's what I feel is important, and if you love your own work, then excellent. That's, that's, that's all you need. You only need your own, your own approval. <laughs> anyway, I'm babbling. I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for crafting with me. You guys are amazing. Sending you huge hugs from Canada, and lots of love. Bye! Please subscribe for more tutorials like this.